This video is a part of a couple of videos regarding how to use technology to help you with your IB internal assessment, um, particularly for math studies. Um, a lot of the calculations you are expected to do um, and you've been using the calculator for in class, you will have to do by hand for your internal assessment. Now, assuming that you have about 100 pieces of data to analyze and perform statistical uh, calculations on, it would be slightly unrealistic for you to use the calculator. There is a large room for error with that method. So this is just to demonstrate how you can do three um, different operations using um, technology. For this video, I'm going to focus on how to calculate standard deviation. Um, the other two videos will be about how to find the R value and then another about finding the chi-square value and completing a chi-square test. Um, the data sample for this video is quite small. Obviously, there's only 10. You will have a frequency table for your um, data sets, or you might have just a long list of data. So um, I do expect you guys to have about 100. Um, that's when your data is more accurate. Um, but for um, the sake of time, I'm just going to go through a small example. Um, so we have the grades of students for maths and for English and for this video I want to find the standard deviation. Um, I'm going to do it for math and then you can try it for English and see if you get the results I'm going to give you at the end. Um, so this is the formula for standard deviation and it's something you haven't calculated in class you've actually used your calculator for. Um, it's not hard, it looks complicated, but it's quite easy to break down. So I've done it in this format. You can use the same formats if you want to. Um, you don't have to, but it's much easier this way and you can avoid any mistakes. Um, one thing to note is that it is a very good idea and I would highly recommend that you label your um, tables if you do the calculations in such a way. You can find these if you go to insert and then equation. Um, you can get this bar sign by going to um, accent here and then you can find the bar over here. Um, so do play around with the technology, it's quite useful. So for the standard deviation, um, the first thing you need to find is the mean and this is represented by your um, x bar here. Um, this is the notation we generally use in math. It is also coincidentally the notation you use in your calculator. You cannot use the notation in your calculator, keep that in mind. You need to make sure that if you want to use it, it has to be compatible with the notation we use in uh, normal math um, situations. So um, X bar is what we use for the mean. So you need to calculate the mean. i um, just going to do the sum of math. And then I'll have to divide this by how many data sets I have. Now I have 10 data sets. If this was a frequency table, you'll have to do the FIXI, multiply them um, to get the sum, and then divide by your, the sum of the frequencies. So um, there is a video on that, so go read through that. Keep in mind, um, you should know these um, details. So I'm just going to divide by 10 because I have 10 data sets. Um, so this is my mean right now. Um, then we go into the main calculation part. So what the first thing we want to do is do our data set, each data set, minus the mean. Um, that's basically what it is. So I'm just going to take the data set here. And then I'm going to take each one and subtract the mean from it. And uh, you will be expected to get negative values. Now, I will drag this formula down, and this is where Excel becomes useful, because you can copy the formulas down. But if I copy it down, um, the f these value cells will move, but then the mean will also move, and I don't want it to move, so I need to put a dollar sign here just to fix this cell. So I don't want the mean to change, but I want these um, numbers to change. So it's gonna drag down, and as you notice, it changed it changed the E, so instead of 15, now it's 38, but the mean didn't change, so that's because of the dollar sign, so that's a useful tool to have. Um, so we've done the subtraction, now we want to square it, and the squaring is 
the step we do to get rid of these negatives. So I'm just going to do F4 and then times F4 again. Then I'm going to drag this down. And I got all of these values now. Um, so we did x minus the mean. We squared it. Now we add them all together. So we add them all up. And then the last thing we do is we find the average. So we divide by how many data sets we have, which is n in this case. And then the last step to find the standard deviation, which I labeled as SD, is just to square root the value you got in the average. So it's just SQRT. That's the code in Excel um, for it. Um, you're obviously not expected to do the square root by hand. So a square root of the average, um, I've called it average just because we are actually dividing by how many. And then you get 12.73. If you want to reduce the decimal places, you can do so in here. So I'm just going to reduce. And it's 12.73. Um, you can check this value using the calculator. We'll give you the same value. Um, and that's it. That's all you have to do. So do show all these steps. It's quite useful. Um, we can only know what steps you're doing if you label um, the table nicely um, and then explain what you're doing in each one so be very clear so that someone who's not familiar with your project actually understands what you're doing. Um, a quick note on dividing by n. You'll notice that some people around the internet might divide by n, they might divide by n minus 1. Um, you might get a different notation in your calculator um, with the sx and the sigma x and you always say we use x, sigma x. The reason is um, we divide by n if we're trying to find our population standard deviation. In this case, this is my population. That's it. I don't have any more. I want to know the standard deviation of this population, so I'm dividing by n. If you have a sample and you want to see how does the standard deviation of this sample reflect on the population, then you divide by n minus 1. So if I wanted the sample population, sorry, the um, yeah, the sample standard deviation, um, I would divide by 9. And this is what the SX would give you in the calculator. Um, so it's only if you have a sample of a population that you use N minus 1. If it is your population, that's it, that's all you have, and that you want to find their standard deviation, you divide by N. Um, that's the only difference. So if you want to pause this video, try to do the uh, standard deviation for English, and I'm going to give the answer in uh, five seconds. So the standard deviation for English is 10.358, um, rounded to three decimal places.